what's going on my kings my queens and my in-betweens what's going on my air signs it's your good sis lava the empress and for those who are new to my channel i give that spiritual tea and see what's going on in your life what kind of advice i can give to you at this time now air signs if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe because it is free and because i'm lit like that period pool and also comment in the comment section below and let me know what resonates for you so as you can see air signs i'm doing it slightly different yet again you know i like to switch it up or whatever but at the end of the day you guys this is going to be i wanted you guys to use your own intuition okay so even though this is for my air signs aquarius libra gemini you get to pick which pal resonates more with you okay so out of these oh yeah actually do not focus on my nails my nails are not done they look crazy right now you know what i'm saying this is the life of a hard-working woman who has her own business who goes to school and also working on a vibe okay so let's get right into it okay so we have pal number one pal number two and pal number three like i said don't try to roast me on my nails because i roast back period poo we're gonna start with pal number one though <laughs> Okay, so go to your timestamps in the comment section below and I'll see you at your timestamp, okay? So pal number one here. For those who chose pal number one, this will be your reading. As you can see, I have all your cards right here. I did not see. Um, I seen like one or two of your cards, but I didn't see all of it. So we don't know how this is going to unfold, but this is about your healing, okay? What needs to be healed? What can contribute to your healing or whatever messages we can get? Before we get and jump into this, we're going to um, pull some messages for you. We're gonna pull some messages and see what is the card of the day, the word of the day, what you need to know right now at this second, okay? So let's get right into it. What does my pal one need to know right now, Sarah? What you wanna tell them? Yeah, okay. We have the lovers here, okay. So some of you want to work on a partnership or is needing to work on your partnerships, okay? Some of you are taking a step back or there's been a lot of defensive energy when it comes to your relationships, okay? Um, I do see, yeah, some of you are coming into some type of awakening or somebody's coming into some type of awakening about you maybe yeah i feel like right now you're focused on your job your work and you're waiting for your results to come in you're waiting for that match made in heaven you're waiting for that partner here okay maybe you have an idea who it is or you may not have an idea who it is and you're actively seeking answers through the divine of who this person is but I feel like this person, you either know who this is because somebody's watching somebody here. But there's a lot of defensive energy. There's a lot of pettiness. Maybe you feel like this person has walked away from you or you walked away from this person here. Okay. Um, this person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or have that in their chart somewhere in their sun, moon, rising, Venus. Yeah, you guys are trying to work on uh, a balance here. Someone you need a balance, okay? And especially even if this is just friendships, partnerships, romantic, platonic, whatever this is, you need to be surrounded more of like-minded people here. Um, maybe that's your goal, that's your focus, to surround yourself with more like... I feel like you guys definitely at work daydream about somebody, some of you this may not pertain to all of you but that's just the message i got whatever hard work you're putting in is going to pay off you're going to receive that that partnership that commitment that you're waiting on but there is some um i'm hearing jealousy as well wow so there's either some jealous energy or there is some type of um watching from afar and having your defense up that's holding you back Okay, maybe too many people are into your business here and that's what's got you confused on what kind of approach you need to take. So let's get more messages for you. So this is contributing to your healing. Let's see. We have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay, 
We have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy here. So yeah, somebody, you had to either let go of a person or whatever the case may be. And you're watching that person or they had to let go of you. Whatever the case is, there's a lot of grief still. There's a lot of holding on to the past here that is hindering you. Wow, we have the number eight here, emotional withdrawal. Some of you had to emotionally withdraw yourself from a situation because you felt like it was hindering you from making a choice, uh, a right decision for you. Some of you had to... All right, so some of you had to release your ex, right? You had to release your past. You had to release a situation emotionally withdraw from the situation so that you can be able to choose logically because that's what you Aquarius Libra Gemini's usually do you like to make logical decisions you want to choose which one is right for you and as you can see like the same person here that's by this water that's meditating that's contemplating that's asking for guidance from the divine is the same person here all right, that knows that they need to make a choice. So maybe you have a choice that you need to make. Or maybe you guys made a choice based on your logic and not your emotions. And now you feel like you lost the person or whatever the case may be. There's a lot of different scenarios that I'm getting from just these cards here. So just take it how it resonates. Grab what you can grab because I'm sure there's a lot of people that's going to tune into this reading. So grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. The time has come to clear your energy here. Yeah, I feel like you guys have taken a step back for sure especially with this eight of clubs here as well so eight can be a very significant number for you um but with this eight of clubs where am i um, i don't know where it's at okay with this eight of clubs here i'm just getting that maybe you feel like the flow is blocked okay the Eight of Wands reminds me of blocked energy here. So maybe you blocked this person or this person you feel like blocked you. You may think that this person blocked you. You may not be blocked. Either way, there's no communication had, okay? But this is all for you to learn how to release your need to control the outcome, release your need to not be so detached as well. So some of you have a hard time attaching to your emotion or you feel like maybe you're too emotional and that's what made you uh, in a predicament that you're in now. You take it how it res resonates. But I feel like you guys are working on your money right now and that's what's mainly important for you. We have a lot of wand energy here. So there's a lot of um, fire energy here. So there's, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you can have that in your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay. But this is all about seeing that new beginning, taking that step here. Okay. Taking that leap of faith here that you're struggling with because you're not confident enough. So working on your confidence will be um, the thing here will be the main message for you working on your confidence working on uh and i'm not when i say confidence it's not about just how you feel about yourself but being confident enough to know that um whatever situation you are in that you can get out of okay having faith in yourself giving yourself a fighting chance okay very you're very intuitive or the person that you're definitely going to be matched with is very intuitive very spiritual here um, it's all about following your instincts for my pound number one. I didn't mean for this to be so long, but whatever. Following your instincts here. So the eight of wands is definitely, um, and also the knight of wands too as well. So the knight of wands, and then we have these two blue cats here. So cats could be significant for you, or you can have a, a blue car or a black car. But it's all about following the messages that you're, you're receiving from, you know, your angels here. We have drive here. No matter what my energy level is, today is my lighting. Today, I'm lighting my motivational furnace and burning with drive, okay? So it's about, it says raining badass um, of progress productivity and i'm about to blaze through my entire to-do list and then some yeah it's about getting shit done bro all 
all right so uh, as far as your healing situation right now it's about sticking to your routine sticking to your list knowing and having faith that things will come to you when it, the time being when the, the right time is but right now learning how to detach yourself from emotional trauma that you've been holding on to releasing that guilt releasing that blame releasing the past here so that you can make a wise decision for yourself because i feel like for whoever picked pal number one you have made a, a decision that you felt like gave you made you take a step back okay or you felt like was a step back into your your journey but it was actually for you to step back and see which is the right path for you i hope that makes sense you guys okay so your healing messages are unhooking the past wow and amplifying abundance see i did not see any of these cards so that's kind of a surprise to me because that relates to exactly what we've been talking about unhooking yourself from the past releasing the past here it says, there is nothing to regret when I learn from my past here. So you had to take this step back. Some of you have made some wrongful decisions or whatever. And that's why you're in the predicament, predicament that you're in now. But there's nothing to regret about it because you were supposed to learn from those mistakes. Okay? So... And then we have amplifying abundance. Abundance is my birthright and I receive it now. So knowing that you are capable, knowing that... And allowing yourself to believe that no idea that you have about how your life should go is as grand or as small. Like you can dream as big as you want to dream. Do not hinder yourself. Do not uh, put down. Um, what is the word? Shit. What is the fucking word? It's not suppressed, but some of you have been suppressing a lot of your energy and that's why it's going to, you have to confront it now so that it doesn't come up in your newest situations here. Cause that's what lessons do. Okay. So when we think, okay, we got away from a situation so we don't have to learn anything or that was the lesson to learn. No, it's, it's even deeper than that. Actually dealing with the emotional hurt, with the grief here dealing with it so that you don't have to deal with it in your newest situation here or take it with you in your newest situation okay um what is that word abundance is my birthright and i receive it now knowing that it's it's yours basically okay it is yours to have it is yours to hold it's already destined for you whoever chose pal number one so there's no need to worry there's no need to feel regret or shame in your situation at all so that's what i'm getting for pal number one if that resonated in any type of way let me know in the comment section below and we're going to move right on to pal number two so what's up my pal number two if you chose pal number two this is your reading we're going to get right into these messages and see what messages i can get for you before we get into these messages um let's see if there's any other messages spirit wants to start off with or tell you at this time at this point in time right now let's see for pal number two what do you want to tell pal number two? Okay, okay, yeah. So somebody wants to offer you some type of commitment, pal number two, or you will be getting some type of um, being... Okay, so there's a couple of things. If I stutter and I do all of that, it's because there's so many messages coming in, okay? So one second, let me relax. For some of you who chose pal number two, somebody wants to offer you a higher commitment. This is going to be out of the blue. This is going to be a surprise. And this person, you may not be, feel like this is the one who wants to have that commitment with you. You may be surprised that this is the person that wants to have that commitment with you. Okay, this person could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their chart or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their chart. All right, but they want a commitment with you. So you may be hearing from someone soon. They may text you. They may DM you, inbox you, email you, or you just may bump into them and they want to ask you out on a date or something that can lead into a commitment. For some of you, you need to listen to your ideas at this time, okay? Listening to your ideas will get you into that role of leadership in which that's probably your sole purpose for whoever chose pal number two, being in that role of leadership and teaching, okay? 
So that's what I'm seeing here. And this is all happening in divine timing here. Yeah, and it's divinely orchestrated here, so you don't have nothing to worry about. As if, if you're wondering, did I miss my opportunity already? Did this person hit me up already? Blah, blah, blah. No, I feel like this is something that is going to happen. But let's just see what your messages say. Let's see what your messages say. So we have forgiveness here so this is somebody that probably wants forgiveness from you here okay somebody that you already know somebody from your past probably or or friend it could be a friend it could be an ex love begins okay look at that wow so it says i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love and then we have love begins with this river of you know water which is symbolizing love here there so forgiveness is needed in order for things to flow for you in the matters of love it could be platonic it could be relationship wise or whatever but you forgiveness is needed here okay we have emotional loss here yes yeah, some of you yeah definitely know this person all right and you either want a higher commitment with them or they want a higher commitment with you or both of you want a higher commitment with each other and nobody's saying anything or nobody has yet to make a move that's because somebody is needing forgiveness here somebody needs to forgive the situation for what has happened already all right some of you are suffering emotional loss some of you may live at a distance from this person or like i said there's just um a, a level of you guys not speaking to each other and so because you're not speaking to each other you're still feeling each other you still feel each other's energy you want to talk you just don't know what to say whatever the case may be let's see what else for pile number two okay we have the three of pentacles, but you want to work on this partnership here. But you you may have met this person through work or something about work and this partnership being very significant for you. Maybe you need to balance out work and partnership or working together will be in your, your soul's purpose. Maybe you were meant to work together with this person here. Maybe there could have been a third party situation that um, hindered you guys from having a... a grand or a bigger commitment than before and that's why you guys are needing forgiveness now because somebody has made the wrong decision okay or felt like they've made the wrong decision but as again we have the five of pentacles here so there's going to be some type of change financially for you but also yeah financially there's going to be a change in a job or yeah change in the out in income or whatever the case may be but it's all about taking that leadership role is what I'm hearing too as well. That leadership role is important. Somebody could be an Aries, Taurus. It says this could be the one here. So you've already met this romantic partner. Okay, so I see what happened here. Some of you have been in a relationship with somebody who you felt very strongly towards, but something got into the way of that. Whether it was work, whether it was another person, whether it was just life, something got into the way of it to where you guys were not seeing eye to eye and it caused you guys to separate in some type of way. Five is definitely significant for you guys, the number five, okay? So five is all about changes. Um, something could have happened in May, um, but this is all for you to build, okay? For for you to build your fine maybe finances was an issue before when you guys were together and now that you guys are building, you guys are going to have another go around, whatever the case may be. But really working on each other, working on your commitment here is going to be important. Let's see. We have the 10 of um pinnacles and we have the 6 of wands. I mean, six of swords here, six of spades, whatever you want to call it. You guys definitely li either live at a distance or you have to travel to see this person. If not, I just feel like you guys just want to be in a in a space to where you don't have any resentment towards anybody. You don't have no hurt. You don't have no pain towards any person. You just want a peaceful resolution here, okay? And maybe because... Things have been a little rocky. You wasn't able to get that peaceful resolution. You wasn't able to get what really makes you happy here. And it's needing forgiveness. So as far as your healing situation, you need to forgive what has already happened. Maybe you are harboring some resentment here. You need to f forgive that, all right, in order for things to flow naturally the way it needs to. 
somebody is harboring, still harboring resentment here. But this could be the one for you. So if you want things to go back around, somebody has to make a move. There's no more need to be stagnant at this point. Um, we have consideration here. I am a considerate person and my new goal is radical consciousness. Okay, so I just feel like you guys need to be more considerate of other people's um, situation. Okay, or maybe you felt like other people wasn't considerate of your situation here. Um, Aquarius, Libra, a Gemini, whoever picked pal number two. You felt like they wasn't considerate of your situation, but there's a lot of consideration that needs to be happening here. And we have modesty here. I am willing to be wrong. I am willing to not know all the answers. Woo! I know that's a tough one for my air signs because y'all ne y'all never want to claim that y'all wrong with this my back. And look, the both of them have their same <laughs> the same type of um stance that Kanye shrug that I don't know that you know it is what it is. This is how I feel. Whatever. Um, you guys need to be willing to be wrong here. You made a wrong decision. You made a wrong choice. It's okay. Don't beat yourself over it. Forgive yourself for it because it is what it is. You had to learn some way or another but it's blocking your flow of love here okay so forgiveness is really 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 important and then we have don't take it personal so if somebody says something that you don't like you're not supposed to take everything personal don't be so serious understand that um people have things going on in their life that is beyond you that is beyond your control and you may not know or understand what people are going through so don't jump to to any conclusions and don't assume anything um be considerate and forgive and allow this person to forgive you forgive yourself and if you really 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 love this person um, or you really, really, really want a second chance with somebody, do not be afraid to take that leap of faith. You just never know. You never know, right? Okay, so let's see about your messages. We have integrating the ego. Wow, look at that. With this modesty, I'm willing to be wrong here. It says everything is for me, not against me here. So just understand that things had to happen the way it happened for a reason here. Asking for angelic support. Do not be afraid to pray, honey. Don't be afraid to pray. Don't be afraid to seek guidance. Don't be afraid to delve really within this spiritual journey. I know for me, it has answered so many of my questions and I have so many more. Don't be afraid to be inquisitive as well. Um, Cause that's what's going to help you um, unravel your path. It says, my angels respond when I am open and authentic about how I feel. So maybe you guys haven't been given, getting, you've been receiving the guidance from your angels, but you haven't been interpreting, interpreting it well, because you're still stuck on masking your feeling instead of understanding how you truly feel so once you're your authentic self once you are authentic with how you feel about whatever the situation is then you'll have that answer that you need here and then we have greeting wellness here so it says balance is the key to a life of infinite miracles you guys are focusing more on work you have a hard time forgiving you just need a balance honey you need a balance and that's what's going to help you on your path so that's what i'm seeing for my pound number twos if that resonated in any type of way let me know in the comment section below it's your good sis lava the empress and i'll see you in your next video okay so let's move on to pile number three Pile number three, if you chose pile number three, this is your reading, okay? And we're going to get right into it and see what messages you need, what healing advice you need, whatever the case may be, yada, yada. Before we do that, we're going to get some messages here and see um, if there's any messages that Spirit wants to tell you right now. Any, Please don't look at my nails. We know they're disgusting, okay? But at the same time, I roast back, all right? So don't try me. <laughs> okay, so for those who chose pile number three, let's see. Pile number three, what messages do you have for pile number three at this time? Yeah, they ain't waste no time. Yeah, somebody wants to come in pile number three and speak with you. They want 
a peaceful resolution with you. They just want to resolve everything. I feel like a cycle is closing for you or an ending of a cycle is near for you where you were on this cycle of meeting unemotionally available people or people that do not know how to communicate. And so maybe this is you maybe you want to communicate with somebody and let bygones be bygones you want to be friends you want to be whatever the case may be you just want closure okay and i feel like closure is coming in some of you are moving or deciding to move and you want to communicate that with somebody but let's keep this going okay let's see what's your messages here so we have envy here wow that's heavy i am the same as everybody but with different challenges so some of you could be in a situation to where i don't get this is like an envious type of vibe to where it's like oh you got brand new shoes and i wanted those shoes and i can't afford those shoes so now i'm jealous kind of the same but not in this situation i feel like this is more of you the the perspective that you guys are taking on maybe you guys didn't grow up in a two-parent home all right and you are surrounded by a lot of people or a bunch of your friends or this person a family whatever the case may be has that actual family dynamic that you did not grow up in and so you see life differently and for you it's like you feel like this person has it easy they don't they don't and it's not up to you to feel like who has it easy or not it's up to you to feel like if you're able to accept these challenges and get on with your life the way you need to get on with it so this envious it could be your energy it could be the people around you that are envious of you because you have this that and a third and they don't um let's get more messages though yeah Okay, yeah, you're not seeing, these people are not seeing eye to eye with you, all right? Somebody is feeling like they're juggling on that decision, whether or not they should come forward or not. And I feel like it keeps you in this energy of not knowing what to do or not wanting to put in that energy into, to de into deciding what to do, like forever being indecisive and just being okay with, you know, whatever, juggling. Yeah, this is something about someone having more than the other or someone definitely um, comparing. There's a lot of comparing happening here. And comparing is not good, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It's not good at all. Because once you compare yourself to someone, you start to, to lose sight of the blessings that you have in your own life. You over here worrying about who got a sandwich and, and you don't have a sandwich in your fridge, but you may have milk and they have the cereal box. Hello, let's really get into it. You may have milk in your fridge, but mad because they have cereal and they have cereal, but you don't know that they mad because they don't have the milk and you have the milk. You understand? So there's a lot of you not seeing eye to eye. There's a lot of comparing here and you need to not be in that energy of comparing because it's not doing anybody any benefit. This don't have to be you. This sounds like a specific message for someone, but... It can also be somebody that you're dealing with comparing you to others or vice versa. But if you've been in this energy of comparing yourself, comparing your, your relationships, comparing your partners to see who's better, that's not working for you, bro. Okay? Or comparing what you have versus what they have. Um, it's going to be an, a never-ending battle of not seeing eye to eye. And you need to understand that you are the same as everybody but with different challenges. Period. Pool. Like... There's no need to compare. Let's see what is next for you. We have the Eight of Wands here as well here. So the yeah, there's some type of blockage here. There's some, yeah, a blockage in you seeing your own blessing in your life and seeing how you guys can come along. Okay, so if this is regarding a specific person here, you it may be a blockage with you seeing how this partnership, this situation can work out for you because you're too busy comparing you're too busy comparing and you need to understand that if you work together things can happen in the way that you want it to happen okay things will flow better for you once you help each other out but if you're so busy focused on what others have and what you don't have you'll never see what you really have period pool let's get right into it oh then we have cheerfulness. Cheerfulness here. 
and we have communication so yes yeah, somebody's definitely going to communicate with you because they miss you okay or it's if that's not the case you need to communicate with this person and tell them how much you miss them and stop being a uh you know a d i don't know if i can say it because i'm getting paid from these videos these videos now shit i can't even speak <laughs> but um yeah you definitely need to be more open to to this communication i feel like this communication with this cheerfulness is going to be um lighthearted. it's not going to be what you thought it was going to be maybe you guys have been waiting on this communication and you think that it's going to end in like a a, a bad manner or whatever it's not going to be that way all right so whatever communication whatever news is coming in for you it's going to be something that you can be happy about let's see but we have temptation here and we have solitude here. Some of you were definitely easily tempted by something that led you astray from your or off your path here. Um, yeah. And even with this solitude here, I just feel like you needed to take a step back in order to see the bigger picture. You needed to take a step back. You needed to, um, and I feel like whatever this situation that broke you guys apart or part, if there was something that broke you apart from this person that is going to come towards you to communicate you, communicate to you, this temptation was put here as a blockage to see if you would be strong enough, you know? Um, and I feel like even with temptation, is the way I look at it is like when you're on a healthy strike and you know you should not be eating cake 24-7 a day, but the cake is on your table and you're just looking at the cake and you're looking at the salad and you're like, damn, I know I need to eat the salad, but the cake is so good. Right. Y'all need to get out of that. You need to start making better decisions for yourself. Okay, because the salad is just as good. It may not be the same flavoring, may not be the same taste, but after a while, what gives you more benefit? All right, eating those lettuce with the tomatoes and shit, or eating the or eating the cake that eventually, when you get older, you got diabetes, you got problems, you got health problems, whatever the case may be. So really, making that those wise decisions for yourself. Then we have wedding here. Some of you could be married to somebody you don't want to be married to anymore. Or with the seven of clubs here, there's a lot of options that you have and you just don't know who is going to be that right one for you. I feel like you will have that answer soon. Getting into your messages though, I feel like even with the seven of wands here, wow, I was just like, didn't we have this? Working together is definitely the biggest issue that you're having right now working with people and meeting eye to eye with them or them meeting eye to eye with you or work, working with a specific person you take it how it resonates okay but there's different options at play here and i feel like you guys are very defensive and you need to stand up for what you want what you believe in what what's yours stand up for what's yours don't let anybody take anything from you okay your healing message is Expanding inner power and welcoming surrender here. So expanding inner power. I am my most powerful when my creativity is a given voice here. So definitely, yeah, it definitely expressing yourself here. So if you're the one who knows you need to communicate with someone, if you're the one who knows you really want um, this to work out and what, whatever the case may be, whatever this could be a platonic situation or it could be romance, Give yourself a voice. Do it in a creative way. Be fun. Be frivolous. Okay? Welcome and surrender here. You, There is no problem. Only destiny being revealed here. So understand that you have no control over your own destiny. Just let everything unfold okay and when i say you don't have no control over your destiny i mean like yeah you can control the path that you're on if you happen to get off path there's always a course correction something is going to fail to in order to put you back on the right path that you need to be on but you have no control over your your entire destiny all right so allow things to unfold the way it needs to um speak up all right, I can't stress it enough. This is not the time to harbor any resentment. This is not the time to um, compare. This is not the time. Just say what's on your mind. Be creative. And that's what I have for my pile number threes. If that resonated in any type of way, let me know in the comment, sec uh, comment section below. 
it's your good sis lava the ends press and i am motherfucking done because i can't speak okay um bye you guys don't look at my nails bye <laughs>